Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, sorry, I had to reset my Wi-Fi. I hope you are all well this beautiful morning, whatever day of the week it is. Let's jump in here. And let me go ahead and get started. If, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, if you try to uh, rush your awakening or force your body into, into things that it's not ready for yet. Um, but if it's done consistently and with like self-compassion and love, it can actually be incredibly transformative over a really short time. And one of the things we're all working to have is more time. <laughs> more time for, for selves, more time for our joy, more time for the things that make us feel good in life. So um, I'm being a five placement Sagittarian. I am all about doing things quickly <laughs> and getting to the good stuff. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started for this morning. So, so the frequency, as I promised yesterday, um, uh, today's day six. So yesterday I was speaking about uh, how most of the time so far we've spoken about the, um, the energetic heart and healing the energetic heart and how that healing begins with the, the, the unseen realm. It begins with the things that we can't see yet. And uh, when, we, when we focus on the heart, there are times that actual, the actual physical heart also has, is going through issues because energetic is something that presents itself. An energy that stays consistently in your structure is going to manifest eventually into the physical realm. That's, that's, that's how all things work. So eventually, some kind of imbalance is going to manifest as some type of thing that we recognize as disease now. So the heart can, just like you know, a lot of people focus on like gut parasites um, when they do parasite cleanses, but the gut isn't the only place where parasites live. That parasites are actually able to live in different parts of the body depending on what type it is. And there are quite a few types of heart parasites and if there, doctors, regular doctors never, ever, ever think to look for things like that. So a person could go to the doctor and be diagnosed with something because they're presenting certain symptoms and those symptoms actually are not because of there's an issue with their actual heart sometimes it's because they actually have parasites in the heart space, uh, like in the, in the chambers, like in the walls and the, in the muscle. Um, and so like a real serious parasite detox is needed. Um, and even still developing, you know, whether it's parasites, whether there are um, blood pressure problems, whether there's arrhythmia, like an irregular heartbeat, um, all of the different types of heart issues still begin in the energetic realm. They still begin with some kind of um, imbalance in that vibration. So it's important to keep like the intention on keeping the, the vibration cleansed and keep the detox cleansed. But for anybody who might be watching this who may have already started to experience heart symptoms of any kind at all, even if it's just blood pressure and your doctor has convinced you that, you know, it's just blood pressure and these pills will be fine, but getting to the root cause of things is always, is always you, can, you can never lose by doing that. You can always win, heal better, do, do a little more by understanding what's actually 
actually happening inside. Um, so the frequency that I, that I put for today is, a, is an actual physical heart healing frequency. It readjusts the vagus nerve, which is that nerve that gets really, really um, severely inflamed when we are in high anxiety or when we stay in chronic stress states for a long time the vagus nerve uh, becomes inflamed because it's under constant use, like it's constantly firing and it eventually starts to burn out. And to reset the vagus nerve and heal it and, and stop having it firing neurons constantly, um, there are certain meditative practices and then there are certain sound frequencies and there are different ways to help to bring that down. There are movements you can do, there's essential oils. Um, so if, if uh, your vagus, if you're if, uh, staying in a constant stress state or a state of heartbreak over a really long time uh, has, has affected your vagus nerve, then you're going to start to express, you may, depending on where exactly the vagus nerve goes into you. Sorry I'm, if I'm talking too much science today, <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about the physical heart a little. But if, they, uh, if that's going in, then there are, there are herbs like linden, um, chamomile, um, let's see, what else? Hawthorn is a good one. Um, using those things, taking those herbs as a tea on a daily basis while doing these practices, these heart detox practices, help to draw out any kind of uh, energy that's in the physical heart. So, you know, definitely those are things to check into. Um, and I am not a doctor, this is not medical advice. <laughs> this is just what I would do if I had certain issues. So I'm gonna leave that there and uh, let's go ahead and begin. If you have not already, go ahead and put your hand on your heart. And you could put your right hand, so put your left hand on your heart and put your right hand on your stomach and just, just take a deep breath and connect with yourself for a moment. Deep breath in and fill your heart space. And exhale. Inhale again through the nose. And this time exhale through the mouth. That exhale breath through the mouth is really healing for the vagus nerve. One of, the, one of the reasons that we sigh and one of the reasons that we yawn, that, that people didn't know what that was for years, but that, that's actually a vagus nerve reset. It's the body resetting itself. And just bring the breath up, up this time through the crown. Raise it up toward the cosmos. Exhale through the mouth and bring that breath down through the crown, through the throat, down through the heart, and drop it down through the root, out into the floor, and drop it down until you can't exhale anymore, and then go ahead and inhale that breath back up from where it's anchored, and draw that breath back up, draw that anchor up, up into your root up into your center, into your heart, through the throat and up through the crown. Anchor the other end into space and then drop that down. Back down until your heart is full. So if you're tuning in for the first time, just the mirrors, uh, the camera's probably reversed. So this is the right hand. Put the right elbow against the side of your body here and the fingers, so first finger and thumb are touching, palms facing forward. And this hand, the left hand is gonna go four to six inches in front of the heart and then it's gonna come out and then it's gonna come out again. So you're gonna inhale back and then exhale each piece of this chant and the chant is Tum Ta Haru. So Tum is T-U-M, Ta is T-A, and Haru is H-E-R-U. And this is a comedic chant. It's using the comedic language, which was a really powerful language that actually invokes geometric structure on certain planes. So, so it's really, really beneficial to use 
comedic language because it can structure, restructure, and realign our the, the spin of our cells, uh, spin of the all the atomic, the molecular, and get everything into a certain vibrational alignment just by speaking the words intentionally. Um, so the chant is Tum Ta Haru. Uh, and yesterday uh, a sister asked me what does Tum Ta Haru mean? So just in case any of you have been tuning in every day and you were wondering too, uh, Tum Ta Haru, it's a bit difficult to translate. It's easier to translate the actual words, uh, which, you know, above, below, and Haru is the center. But the, the, the meaning of the words is if you took the triangle, the pointed triangle pointing down, like the six-pointed star, and you've got the downward-facing triangle, and then you have a triangle whose base is down and who points upward. That is how our being is structured here, and then the, it comes up from here. So our heart space is the center of that six-pointed star. That is the, the medium between what's above and what's below. And so Tum Ta Haru is bringing what is above and what is below and actualizing yourself. So this is purifying you by using the elements that come from above and the elements that come from below. Uh, so that's the long version <laughs> of what that chant means. <laughs> it's a Wajit Yoga chant. So again, so uh, back to the right hand goes here. Your hand is up and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna close our eyes, take a deep breath in. Tum ta ru, tum ta ru, tum ta 
an intention there. How would you like to show up in the world today? What do you want your heart to reflect out to the world today? in what you give to yourself and also in how you serve others, how you show up for others. And place that intention there and take a deep breath in. And as you inhale, bring the hands up into a Y position here. So make sure we have a clear line of heart energy, of energy going straight down into the heart space. And curl the fingers under and just bring the thumbs up so that they're pointing toward the planets. And take a deep breath in and we're gonna do the fire breath. So fire breath is where you just pump your navel. You're doing short breaths in and out, but the breath is not coming from up here. The breath is coming from right in the navel and the diaphragm with powerful force and movement. So. From there, all right? And just keep the eyes closed so that you can keep your focus inside. And go ahead and begin. thumbs up and just bump the thumbs together and pop the hands open <sighs> and exhale through the mouth <sighs> Ex your hands all the way down to the floor and just press the palms of your hands down to the floor let all of that old stuck heart energy just exit through your arms go down out through your shoulders and through the arms out through the palms of the hands down 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 into the earth and just let the earth take that energy from you and recycle it. Inhale deep and fill yourself with the energy, that clean, clear energy from the earth. Just pull it up through your hands, pull it up into your heart space. And just wrap that energy around the intention that you set there. How do you want to show up for yourself today? How do you want to show up for others? Just let the earth energy support you in that intention. And let the cosmic energy support you in that intention. And just bring your hands again. This time you're gonna bring the, le the right hand first over your heart and the left hand to support it. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. stay sitting up because I want to um, just hold space for all of you and make sure that you can hear me um, but just go ahead and wherever you are just lie down it's really important with any type of yoga but very especially with serpent power yoga it is very important to lie down to hold stillness to hold space for for yourself for a moment these these postures we're doing are moving massive amounts of energy around and moving old stuck energy just like Acupuncture would un would free up certain blockages and meridians we have. Yoga, serpent power yoga does that too. So you need to give your body, your vessel a, a moment to just realign 
with the new vibration that's taking place with the energy that's moving around. So just lie back and just allow your face to relax and allow your head to just relax into the floor, into the mat. Allow your shoulders and your back to relax and just let everything go. Just let everything fall open. Let your chest open and your heart space be just connected fully, open to the spirit, to the cosmos, to the cosmic energy above. Just allow your legs, your back, your butt, your legs, your knees, your ankles to relax. Allow your feet to relax and just allow everything to just be open to just receive the blessing of what you've just done. And while you relax, just allow some gratitude to fill your heart space for everything that you have conquered, everything that you have won, every victory, every time you have stood up again after getting knocked down, every time you've had faith again after getting your trust broken, Every time you've loved again, even after having your heart broken, every time you've been able to laugh again after being through a serious depression, allow everything that you have beat, just allow your heart to just receive so much gratitude for everything that you have been through, everything that you have felt your way through in this life. sleep <laughs> blessings go ahead and do that <laughs> if you feel ready to get up and get your day moving then go ahead and uh, bring that energy back into your body back into your vessel and you can go ahead and sit up and get moving again uh, if you do have time to rest it does take up the body about an hour to fully reset to realign after all the energies that get shifted after a session of serpent power any any type of serpent power yoga serpent power meditation so feel feel free to lay still if you can and if not just go ahead forward with those intentions for your day <clears throat> oh excuse me i brought my water but i didn't drink any um and i'm so grateful to all of you for being here thank you thank you please once again remember to just like it um, share it with anybody share it to your timeline share it with anybody who may be going through heart difficulties who may be going through physical issues I did share at the beginning of the video um, just in case anybody jumped on later I shared a few herbs that are really healthy for the heart and really help the heart energy to become unstuck the physical energy um, and to uh, to work through issues that might be going on there so definitely share this with anybody you know who might need it uh, share it with anybody even if they don't if you don't know you know if they're hiding that pain behind a smile um, and um, once again, I'm really grateful to all of you for being here. I'm so, I'm so thankful to be able to share these mornings this way with you guys. Um, this is really a powerful blessing and an honor. So um, have, a, have an amazing, amazing day. I love you all, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. <laughs> oh, and I'll share the frequency. I'll put the frequency, the link to this frequency in the comments for anybody who might need it. Love you all. Peace, peace.